me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Welcome back to the Pretty Pastel Patisserie. Today we're testing out some baking products from Wish. Now it's been a little while since I used baking products from Wish. The last time that I did was when I used this silicon mold here to make a giant Nutella heart. Now in that video I only used this to set some chocolate in the fridge. I didn't actually put it to the test. Now on Wish it did say that this is supposed to be able to be used in the oven. So we're going to be testing that out today, as well as using some of these other silicon moulds that I've picked up from Wish as well. Now the recipe that we're using to make the cake today comes from an app called Baker Cake Recipes and Puzzles. I'm so excited that they're sponsoring today's video because this app is so much fun. So they reached out to me to see if I was interested in working with them, so I downloaded the app and I have been hooked. And, and when I say hooked, I mean like really, really, really hooked. Uh, if I just pop onto my app usage. In the last seven days, I've I've used this for 18.6 hours. Yeah, I'm just a, a little bit hooked. The app is so much fun. It's one of those uh, connect three kind of games where you connect three pieces or more. You unlock all sorts of bonuses. You even get a little sort of patisserie that you can decorate. Now, I'm really, really proud of the way that I decorated my little store in Paris. It's all pastel. Everything's purple and green. And I, I took a lot of pride in decorating that. And as you level up, you get to unlock different areas. You also get to unlock different decorations. As you make your way through the game, you unlock various recipes and today's recipe is a raspberry and chocolate cake. Archie actually really, really likes this game. Ever since I started playing it, he's always there over my shoulder watching. It's free to download. <laughs> the recipes from this app are really easy to follow and they're really, really cute too. I love the drawings, they're beautiful. The game is available on iOS and Android and there's a link in the description down below to download if you want to play it as well. If you do decide to download it, tell me uh, how many levels you get through in one day because I mean, I'm interested to see if anyone made it as far as I did on day one. I, I really, I, did, I didn't stop for a very, very long time. <laughs> yes, yes Archie, <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> So with that, thank you so much to Baker Cake for sponsoring today's video and uh, let's jump straight into it. So I have my sous chef Samuel here to help me today. Uh oh. Yes, look, it's Uncle Sam. It is suit up sous chef, thank you kindly. Oh, suit up sous chef. Might I point out, this is going to be a delicious cake because one of the first things I've noticed is it takes 250 grams of flour but 300 grams of sugar. There is more sugar than flour in this cake so I'm hoping it's going to be delicious AF. Step one, we've got add the flour. Oh, actually, hang on, wait, I'm getting a bit carried away. <laughs> I should show them what I got from Wish first. And oh, then who we cares about Wish? This is a chocolate cake filled with goodness. Okay, fine. What do you got That's from true. Wish? Do you okay. need me to hold Archie? Because he'll bite me. No, he'll, be, he'll bite me. Do you want to try? I don't want to try. Of course you do. I really don't want to Look, try. Look, it's Uncle Sam. Oh. Those fingers aren't for eating. Not for eating. No, Does anyone no. have any idea how high my heart rate is right now? No, 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 no. Okay, no, that's unnecessary, Archie. You just wait. So like I said, we have this silicon mold here, which you guys would have seen in my first video. Another one that we've already used is this little unicorn silicon mold. And Sam actually used this on his channel. He used it to put resin in. So mm. we shouldn't uh, use this to put any actual food in today. Currently but not food grade, has been not tainted. Not food grade, it's been tainted. But I will test it out with some melted chocolate so I can show you guys how it is. Now we also have in here, so this one is a chocolate mold. Now I'm planning on making like a, a giant block of chocolate with this, but it's not gonna be a milk chocolate block. It'll be a white chocolate block. Actually look. Eee! <sighs> Heart rate through the roof. So oh, this nice one is just a giant block for putting chocolate in to make a block of chocolate. So we're going to put some white chocolate in here with some different coloured food dyes so that we can have like a, a bit of a unicorn... <coughs> so we're going to make a unicorn block of chocolate using this one. We also have... This has a bunch of little love hearts on it in all different shapes and sizes. We've also got... Oh my god. This is so small. What the... Oh, I thought that was a good, like, oh my god, they're so no. cute. No, oh, no, oh. I, don't, I thought this was 
proper strawberry size. This is meant to be a strawberry mold, and I thought it would be appropriately strawberry size, but they're, they're teeny, they're like the size of my fingernail. <laughs> that's baby strawberries. Baby strawberries. <laughs> oh no, this is another one that's tiny. This one is a Totoro mold. Now this is really, really, really small. I, again, I thought that this was going to be a lot bigger based on the pictures, but there's six different types of Totoro here. So I uh, don't know how I'm going to go with that one. Next up we have, now this is actually intended to be for jewelry making. It's a resin mold, but we're going to use it for chocolate. This one is like little diamantes, little diamonds. And I did think that they were going to be I can imagine putting jelly in these and I do actually have sparkly jelly. And last but not least is something that I saw on a Facebook ad. They were making and selling chocolate high heel shoes. So of course I went on Wish and I just typed in high heel mold and sure enough, up it came. This is a very solid plastic, comes with two little clips and I believe that you clip it together like that and then you just pour the chocolate inside, leave it upside down like that so the chocolate kind of drains out and then when it sets you just crack it open and you have a high heel shoe. Ah uh, yay! Lime, lime flavor glitter jelly. We have three little diamonds and we have three glitter jellies so I think that we should try and set some jelly in here. Um, Let's jump into making the cake and then we'll test out some of these little molds. Hey, stop slacking off. Stop, oi, look important things. So it looks like we have add the flour, baking powder, salt, cocoa, and granulated sugar into a large container and mix. So, flour, sugar, 1.5 tablespoons of baking powder. Is that right, tablespoons? Yes, one point, teaspoons, not tablespoons. <laughs> That was a close one. Cocoa powder or cacao powder, whichever way you say it. Salt into a large container and mix thoroughly. So I have my trusty whisk. Add to the mixture two eggs. Yes, yes, eggs. The vanilla sugar, butter and milk. So two whole eggs. Vanilla sugar, butter. Oh, you saw nothing. Mix until smooth and add the vinegar. Can you can you get Archie? Oh yeah, easy. <gasps> nah. Okay, well uh, I guess that's going in the bin. Time to bring in the power tools. So let's pour this into the mold now and get it in the oven so we can have a look at some of these other things. What, what are you doing, Archie? Okay. This is where I'm really putting full trust in Wish because Wish reckons that this thing is oven safe. Now it's either going to come out a giant white bubbling mess because the entire thing has melted in the oven or it, perhaps the toxic chemicals will contaminate the food. Who knows, this is wish, anything could happen. Let us just wish for the best. Okay, so my thoughts are that I'm going to try and make the craziest looking block of chocolate you've ever seen using this one. So I've got some white chocolate here that I'm going to melt in a bowl. Nope, not for birds. Okay, and while that's microwaving, I'm gonna take my little chocolate mold. I've got some various colored sprinkles here. So I'm gonna pour the sprinkles into the mold to begin with so that I pour the chocolate over the top. First off, we have uh, some rainbow pearls or shiny almonds as Archie likes to call them. Oh my God, that looks so cute already. <laughs> I have microwave 
microwave the chocolate for 30 seconds. I'll just give it a stir and it'll have to go back in for another 30 seconds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with the melted white chocolate is I'm gonna color it in three different colors. I'll make it blue, pink, and yellow, I think. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do more than that. Yes, okay, I think I will do green as well because we have someone that'll be very upset if I don't. Which one first? Of course. Okay, so Archie wants green first. So we'll just put a teeny tiny little drop of green. Archie, do you wanna stir it? Good boy. Now hold it. Hold it. Now I'll just pour in kind of like. <laughs> so we'll go in with the green first. Ah, it looks so cute already. Blue. <gasps> I didn't do purple. Heck. Luckily, I have uh, this. This is called ube. Ube is like a sweet potato, and this is a very, very concentrated purple. And every time that I try to use this, it ends up way too purple but I'll just try and use like the teeniest, teeniest, tiniest, itsiest, bitsiest little bit. Here, hold this. Okay, ready? Hold still. Hold very, very, very still. Very. Ah! Okay, there's a teeny, tiny, tiny little bit. Why are you screaming at the chocolate? <laughs> oh no, it's not going purple. Okay, that's it. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What have I done? Oh no, that was a lot more liquidy than I thought it was gonna be. I'm reminded of a song. We take the white chocolate and then we paint it black. <laughs> I'll take a bit of it from there and transfer it to pink. Ah, there we go. Everything worked out better than expected. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have to melt some more white chocolate because unfortunately for me, I, I ruined all of that with all that purple. I'm gonna just start pouring different colored white chocolate into all of these various molds. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get Sam to make this different colored jelly. I just got this stuff from Woolworths. Firstly, I'm gonna get rid of this abomination. No, 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 don't get rid of it. It, it might taste nice. That looks like it tastes nice, doesn't it? Mmm, yes. to make my Totoros. So I have this black food color gel. So I'm hoping that a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of this will turn the white chocolate gray. How is one supposed to do this more accurately? I don't understand. Strange. <laughs> Literally, whose genius idea was it to make such a small Totoro? <laughs> it makes no sense. Okay, so I have three more molds here. We have the strawberries, we have the unicorn. Now remember, we're not eating whatever comes out of this because that's had resin in it. Uh, and then we've also got the little love hearts. So I think I'm gonna do just a variation of different colors in these. I do have this spray that I used last time that I did one of these wish baking videos. Maybe if I spray this inside here, the hearts might come out silver, maybe? So we'll give that a try. <laughs> I feel like a unicorn. <laughs> okay, and for the strawberries, I'm going to attempt, I mean, these are so small. I don't know how they expect anyone to do anything with this because I will put pink and green. The hearts, there's probably no point putting any colors in there because it's silver on the outside, but look, I'll, I'll make them colored anyway for fun. Yes, I'll make them green. Okay, and then Sam can do his jelly. <laughs> oh, the cake! Oh my god! It's ready! Okay, I hope that was long enough. It looks a little bit soggy. Uh, test it. Right. And if it comes out dirty, I have to kiss the nearest boy. Oh my god. Yep, that is not done. Back in she goes! Back in she goes! Let's give it another 10 minutes, probably. No, you don't go in there, Archie. It's not Christmas Eve yet. I have my red, I have the green for the strawberries. Now I just have to figure out how to get them in here without a syringe. It's just, it's gonna have to be a teaspoon. Very, very delicate work. Actually, I think I have just the tool. You're not talking about me, are you? Yes. So fun fact, 
This little spoon here was actually Archie's when he was a baby. It's been thoroughly washed since then. When he was little and we had to make sort of hand raising formula and it was like uh, oats and all sorts of things and it was pureed up and you had to feed it to the baby birds. This is tapered like that so it sort of goes straight down. Look, do you still remember? You still remember? And we gotta keep that clean for the strawberries. Into the fridge. Okay, so now uh, I've just pulled out the chocolate block out of the fridge. Let's see how it's turned out. Hey, not really. No, not really. I mean, it's kind of. Yes, it does look like a chocolate block, but my main criticism to Wish is that the actual lines, they're not quite deep enough, you know, like the dividing lines. But to be an actual block of chocolate, I feel like it needs to be a little bit deeper. Also, my idea with the uh, confetti stuff did not work in the slightest. But uh, anyway, still looks cute. Hmm, it tastes good too. So I think the best way to get this small volume of liquid into these teeny tiny diamonds is actually using this uh, tablespoon measurement. So if I just pull this in there. Oh, woo, cake! Uh, on the plus side, it looks like the silicon hasn't melted, so that's a very good sign. Still dirty. You think it needs more time? Need more time. Okay, so I'm um, just. Oh my god. What? I forgot. What? <laughs> Chocolate on my head. Yeah. Samuel. <laughs> what? Hope my eyebrows don't come off with it. All right, so I've brought the molds out of the fridge now. We're gonna pull out Totoro, the strawberries, the love hearts, and the unicorn, and see how they all worked out. I think we'll start with Totoro because that's what I'm the most concerned about. From the back. Well, it looks promising. <laughs> Can only go downhill from here. Ready? Attempt number one. <gasps> <laughs> I'm so happy! I don't believe that worked! Wow, he's so cute! Okay, that one was probably the easiest because that one had the deepest belly. Number two. He lost an ear. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Okay, Totoro number three. That's the cake. Okay, attempt number three. He's not quite as cute as attempt number one. Number four. Oh, he lost an ear. And also, he's, that's a very strange looking Totoro. Now this one is like a really, really fuzzy Totoro. Oh God, that's horrifying. And the last one is, is literally already jumping out of the mold. I didn't even have to do that. And he's, yeah, look, none of them were as good as the first one. The first one was definitely the best. So here's the little Totoro family. I think definitely you can see which one is the standout child. Uh, some of them have had a pretty tough life. Definitely some of them have been picked on. You can tell which one would be the popular kid in school. Now let's have a look at the love hearts. They are really, really nicely shaped. Like as weird as that sounds, love hearts can be shaped nicely or shaped weirdly. But as far as Wish is concerned, I think that they, at least they actually got a symmetrical shaped love heart. <laughs> Let's try and take out the teeny tiny little strawberries now. I don't have very high hopes for these. Oh! On the one hand, it does look like a strawberry, but on another hand, it looks like something you might pull out of your nose. I feel like if I'd been a little bit more precise with the green, these would have looked a lot better. Okay, and last but not least is the unicorn. Now, I made the main grey, and the rest of him is white. Okay, I've got to be very, very, very careful because I don't want to break the horn. <gasps> I broke the horn. What you can see from this is that it's very textured. So the mane is really, really textured. There's definitely an eyeball. There's muscles in his mouth. Uh, he looks all right, but this definitely worked out a lot better with resin than it worked out with chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of those and just put them in the fridge so they don't melt any further because I might decorate the cake with these. And speaking of the cake, it's time to pull it out of the oven. So the first thing that I'm noticing about the silicon <laughs> mold is it's not white anymore. It's kind of uh, gone a little bit cream, a little bit dark. It's starting to brown in some areas. Okay, while we wait for the cake to sort of set a little bit more, I'm gonna do my very, very, very last mold, and that is the giant high heel. Now, this one came with three little clips, 
but sort of running my finger down the seam, it does seem as though the chocolate is going to fall in that crack. So Sam's given me another clip, so we're gonna put that one on the bottom here to reinforce it a little bit. Now, I'm gonna try and make a classic Louboutin heel, one like this. I turned some white chocolate red, so I'm gonna to attempt to put that on the sole. Okay, I'm just gonna pull the rest of the white chocolate in and around the mold. I feel like I'll probably need to do a couple of layers to like really reinforce it so that it doesn't break when I take it out of the mold. So while I'm waiting for the shoe to set, I'm going to attempt to pull the cake out of the heart. Because this is sort of risen up at the top, I'm gonna to try and make it an even base so that way when I flip it out, it sits flat. So this was supposed to be turned up. This was supposed to be cooked in a tin uh, with like baking paper and everything, so the recipe wasn't meant to be with a silicon mold. Uh, if it doesn't look very good when I flip it, I'm gonna cover it in chocolate anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'll just slowly sort of peel it away with one hand, because Archie can't get too close because chocolate isn't good for dogs. Here, how about you go here? Did you spray the silicon mold with oil? No. Please, 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 and then this bit came from here. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put the love heart back together again. <laughs> you need to go away. Goodbye. Go. Away. Be gone. Avada Kedavra. No! <laughs> okay. Sam, help. You almost got a medicine degree. Hold on. Get me a toothpick. What, that, what if we... Just get me a toothpick. <laughs> No question yes, this. Nurse, I need a toothpick. Stan! I will not lose this We're patient. losing him! Boom. It's like... <laughs> two toothpicks and you would never know. Yay! Okay, I feel like if we cover this in chocolate, it'll be okay. Now, the recipe actually calls for uh, whipped cream and uh, chocolate ganache kind of stuff and then you're meant to top it with raspberries. But I think I'm just going to pour white chocolate all over it. Like what? this. Hang on, I was supposed to use that for the rest of the shoe. Yeah. That's exactly why I'm as shocked as Archie is. <laughs> that was a spontaneous move. I thought it was a good idea at the time. Do we have any more white chocolates there? Nope. That was the last of it. I think I will just take the milk chocolate and melt that and pour that over the top. You all ever seen a Franken cake? A this Franken is a, a Franken cake. Call Sophia and I got. Also, um, our surgery is coming undone. Seal it in with the chocolate, it's fine, it'll be That's fine. Right. All broken hearts can be mended with chocolate. This is the lesson I learnt in my first four relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Go for your life. Simba. <laughs> Now what, Alex? You're the chef. I'm just the sous chef. You tell me what to do. Throw it in the bin. <laughs> no, 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 not really. Do I just like come along and I'm just like... They missed, but you get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? It's beautiful. And we don't have any mint. We do, however, have parsley. Don't you... If you put parsley on this, I will... Wow. Wow. Just Cretin. for the expectation reality photo, Sam. You don't mean to tell him it's parsley. Just like take the expectation reality and if anyone notices, hey, that's not mint, that's parsley. Oh, it's, it's mint in Australia. <laughs> then you block them so they can't spread with foul rumours. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the cake, Archie? Well, you can have that. Ooh. Here's something I prepared earlier. Okay, so my concern with this particular mold is it's a very, very, very thin block of chocolate. In the pictures, I did think that it was way deeper. It's very, very thin. But look, it still breaks in a satisfying way. Kind of. Not really. No. For mum. Not for birdies. Hmm. Not pub. 
Did we wash that before we used it? If you don't see me next week, you know why. Look, seeing as everything is spiralling downhill, let's try and take the shoe out of the mould. <laughs> Alex, no, no. It's not ready yet. It needs to be set for like at least an hour. I know, don't be silly. I want everyone to take note just now. I've said the shoe is not ready. I've said that. So what I'm just going to do is try and do this as slowly as I possibly can and hope that the shoe doesn't crack. But if the shoe does crack, I'm not going to blame Wish. I'll just blame myself and wish that I'd done better. The shoe is cracked. The shoe, the shoe is cracked. Oh dear. Oh dear. The jelly is almost set, but I'm a little bit worried that if I go trying to pull it out of the mold now, it'll just break. My final thoughts about everything. The Totoro mold was a little bit hit or miss because the top Totoro, he was awesome. The others were a little bit... Yeah, but that's okay. It's completely fine. I feel like if you go slow and steady with this one, give it time to set, you're completely fine. Just depends, if, you know, if you're worried about the Totoros looking a little bit silly. Yeah, they made it look great, but it's, it's from Wish. What do you expect? The Love Heart mold, that's awesome. I want to pick up a couple more of these so I can just make dozens and dozens of little Love Hearts and I can stick them all over desserts. The Unicorn is definitely more suited to resin than it is to chocolate. And the strawberries, I mean, that's... That's probably one of the worst expectation realities I've ever had. This chocolate mold is way, way, way too shallow. And this one, well, it survived the heat, I'm glad. It's very hard to clean though, like really, really hard to clean. And also it's gone really, really brown around the edges and I cannot get that to come off. But at least it did stay intact. It didn't melt, it didn't turn into a steaming pile of goo. This one, I feel like if you use a lot thicker chocolate, it's actually a really good shoe mold. I'm so happy that the chocolate didn't fall down the cracks. That's great. I think that this is pretty cool too. I feel like this would be awesome for jewelry. You could set it with resin and you could like make earrings out of the little diamonds. This is super cool. I love this one. I really like that it's like a real proper 3D mold. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Bake a Cake for sponsoring today's video. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye out for our next few videos. We have some really fun ones coming, so hit the notification bell so you stay informed of when we post. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.